94.3 WYBC, The Rhythm of the City. Daryl Huckabee along with Didi in the morning. And today we have a special guest joining us. Over the last few months, we've been accepting applications for the WYBC Chevrolet of Milford Beat the Odds Scholarship, where we're giving away $4,500 to a junior or senior in high school that has overcome odds and is doing very well in the classroom. And we received a number of applications and came down to well, it was very tough to uh, select. We had a number of great stories, and one compelling story uh, really moved the judges that uh, made the decision. And today, I am excited to announce that Isaac Perry from Hill House High School is the winner of the WYBC Chevrolet of Milford Beat the Odds Scholarship. Isaac, how you doing? I'm good. I'm doing good. And we're joined with your mother, Cherie. How you doing, Mom? Doing proud well. Mom. <laughs> Hi. Well, first of all, let me thank also uh, Walter Luckett Foundation, Lisa Jones from BlackTravelMain.com, and Howard K. Hill from Howard K. Hill Funeral Homes for uh, also contributing to the scholarship. So, Isaac, you graduated. How does it feel to be a graduate? It felt weird in the upcoming days to my graduation, definitely. Okay. It still felt like I was just going to go back to school the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome almost to the real world. You're on your way to uh, further your education on the college level. Now, I want to briefly read a part of your essay that you uh, submitted um, mm -hmm. for the uh, scholarship. You say, beginning in your high school career was the worst part of your life, so to speak. You had to transition learning through a computer screen rather than learning on hands and academically. You slipped and fell hard. What saved you was the discovery of HBCU marching band culture. Yes. It was this culture this community, the resilience and the rhythm and of the show style marching bands that became the beacon of your hope during those dark days. So you actually started high school as a freshman when COVID broke out. So that had to be a, um, a trying time for you. Yeah, that was really, really bad for me. It was, it was just the terrible transition from being hands on to just looking at a computer screen for seven hours straight, you know? Yeah. Um, and I remember that time because it really disrupted the whole world in, in every aspect of life. So not just students, but, you know, mom, I'm sure you can identify your life was uprooted and adjusted. And we had to, uh, you know, live life differently for a period of time. Fortunately, we're back to normal. But how did you come across the HBCU marching band culture that helped you, you know, ease into it a little better and, and come out on top, so to speak? Well, it was my band director at Hill House. Um, Mr. Joshua Smith, uh, he introduced me to, first he introduced me to drumming, which I didn't know anything about. This was my sophomore year of high school. Um, he introduced me to drumming and the crazy thing is in the beginning, I was like, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. Cause I was just like the drum hurt. It was, it was hard. I didn't know what I was doing, but it was at the end of my sophomore year. And the beginning of my junior year that really opened my eyes to the HBCU marching band culture. Just so in the beginning of my junior year, he took us to the Yale Bowl, um, where Howard University's marching band came, they came down and they just put on this show and I was just I was just blown away. And so just the beginning of my junior year and the end of my sophomore year really showed me how far this culture goes and it like really opened my eyes and I was just blown away by all of it. And yeah. then of course, coming into my senior year, we watched, um, we watched Morgan state and then we saw Hampton university and we saw Grand Bleak state university. And I was just like, yeah, I got to do this. Yeah. That's <laughs> I got to do this. And, that's I went from being scared of it my sophomore year to fully embracing it yeah. just my junior and uh, senior year. And once you see something firsthand, because, you know, in the beginning you weren't aware of the culture, but once you gradually got more exposed to it, then it opened your eyes and allowed you to, you know, really dive into it full full speed. Now, mom, yeah. how, how do you feel as a proud mom? First of all, you have a high school graduate, and he's uh, also about to further his education. The goal is to go to Hampton University, like you said, um, but you're going to do Southern first for a year, then transfer. Yes. How do you feel, Mom? I'm proud. I'm, I'm definitely a proud mother. Um, 
the HBCU culture is something that I wanted. My daughter, she also graduated, but she didn't decide to go to college. But I experienced the HBCU culture I went to Norfolk State. Oh, okay. Yeah, I ended up. I eventually ended up coming home. I didn't graduate, but it's just a completely different atmosphere. Yeah. So you know, I always support him in whatever he does. He's he's always been a different kid. Mm -hmm. Um. So I've always supported him. Well, congratulations once again. Now I want to read the ending of your uh, essay. You say the scholarship will not only alleviate the financial burden of higher education, but also provide you with resources and the support necessary to thrive academically, artistically, and personally. Mm -hmm. We'll empower you to pursue your passion for music, hone in your skills as a percussionist, and contribute to the ever strong legacy of HBCU marching bands. What a way to close that essay. <laughs> Well, we're excited for you from a WYBC family standpoint. Again, we want to thank uh, Chevrolet of Milford, the Walter Lucker Foundation, Lisa Jones from BlackTravelMain.com, and Howard K. Hill for Howard K. Hill Funeral Homes to um, this and um, really help you further your education because we know it's tough out there. Financially, it's hard to, uh, you know, pay for college. And, you know, life is hard right now financially for a lot of families and uh, higher education is uh, not free unless you get benefit of a scholarship. So we're honored to be able to help you uh, pursue your passion, both academically and within that HBCU marching band culture, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you have to keep, keep, stay in touch with us and uh, let us know how things progress. Um, first of all, at Southern and then as you go to Hampton. All right. All right. Thank you. Isaac Perry and his mom, Cherie. Isaac is the winner of the WYBC Chevrolet Beat the Odds Scholarship. Now I'm Daryl Huckabee along with Didi in the morning. We are the Rhythm of the City, 94.3 WYBC. <laughs>